Hello viewers, and welcome to the deconstruction. Today, we will be deconstructing Garcinia Cambogia. And instead of focusing on a specific product and advertisement, we will be looking at all word of mouth advertising associated with this ingredient. Word of mouth advertising includes recommendations from friends, popular daytime TV shows, as well as health and nutritional blogs on the internet. So let's start by having a look at some claims that we came across when we typed Garcinia Cambogia into Google. We cannot deny its hunger suppressing capabilities as confirmed by herbalprovider.com and Interhealth. Okay, stop right there. Are they really using herbalprovider.com as a scientific reference to confirm appetite suppression? From our perspective, this is useless information and severely decreases their credibility. Another one. If you decide to take Garcinia Cambogia, you will see results starting the very first day. <sighs> Imagine a person struggling with obesity who is desperate to find a solution and then they read this. This is designed to take advantage of these people by luring them in with outrageous claims in order to sell product and ultimately fill their pockets. Next, we find a list of some of the claims. In general, when a website starts to list numerous functions like this, we consider it a huge red flag. It helps appetite, kills fat cells, and also helps your immune system. Oh, and it also lowers bad cholesterol. Even drugs synthesized to specifically treat hyperlipidemia or high cholesterol don't also just randomly and coincidentally improve immune function. They say improve immune function. Well, that's fine, but I ask, by what mechanism? Where is your science? These claims leave us scratching our head, and they should leave you scratching your head as well. So in order to understand what these claims are about, Let's first learn about this ingredient, Garcinia Cambogia. So, what is Garcinia Cambogia? It's a fruit called Garcinia gummy gutta, also known as brindleberry, and it's found in Indonesia. The reason why we care about this fruit is because it contains hydroxy citric acid. This chemical compound gives Garcinia Cambogia its function, and in order to understand how hydroxy citric acid works, we have to remind ourselves how fat is made in the body. So, let's make some fat through fatty acid synthesis. The sugars, fats, and proteins in this hamburger will be broken down so that we can use them for energy. The sugars are specifically broken down through glycolysis, then the Krebs cycle, and finally to the electron transport chain where they can be used for energy. In the fed state, extra nutrition coming in will be shunted down a different pathway. Two important compounds that are part of the Krebs cycle oxaloacetate and acetyl-coenzyme A are turned into citric acid and finally into fat. Now the reason we bring this all up is because the final step involves an enzyme called ATP citrate lyase. So this enzyme must be working to make fat. The compound found in Garcinia cambogia, hydroxy citric acid, actually blocks the function of this enzyme and thus inhibits the creation of fat. So on paper, it looks like Garcinia cambogia is very promising but let's see how it fared when subjected to basic and clinical research. Let's look at a couple of studies and see what the research suggests. First, we will look at a study done in rats that assessed body weight, inflammation, and some other markers. They fed the rats a high-fat diet while giving them Garcinia cambogia, and concluded that there was decreased body weight and inflammation. However, we want to point out something that you may have missed. They fed these rats a dosing of 400 milligrams per kilogram of Garcinia cambogia. Let's put this into perspective by taking an average male who weighs 68 kilograms or 150 pounds. When we do the math, we find out that we would have to receive 27 grams per day of Garcinia cambogia just to extrapolate the results found in this study. So these rats were fed tons of Garcinia cambogia. The average bottle of Garcinia Cambogia contains 60 800 milligram pills totaling 48 grams. So just to put that into perspective, you would have to go through 3.5 bottles per week to match this study. Although the rat study was promising, they were given an unrealistic dose. If you were looking for evidence to support Garcinia Cambogia, this definitely isn't it. But let's keep on looking. Next, we see a randomized control trial, which is a very strong study design. They compared Garcinia cambogia to a placebo and found that it failed to produce significant weight loss. And finally, we have a systematic review, which is the strongest study design. 
they looked at numerous dietary supplements including Garcinia cambogia. They said the results are not convincing and would recommend none of the supplements for over-the-counter use. That is very sustainable evidence against the clinical use of Garcinia cambogia. Now for the final claims made. The online health blogs mentioned it would reduce your appetite and you would see results within minutes. We could not find conclusive or consistent research in humans to suggest that this is true, which means there is not enough evidence to say this with a straight face. With respect to immune function, one study was done on rats with colitis, and indeed, they do report reduced inflammatory markers. Yet, this was a small rat study done in a specific disease model and not even close to being applicable to the general population. So to say it will help your immune function is just not true. We went ahead and pulled up one more systematic review, which again is the best type of study design. They again reiterate that Garcinia cambogia has no role in weight loss. They say it could work short term, but when you only analyze good studies and omit the not so good ones, this result actually goes away and it is no better than a sugar pill. We were found scratching our heads during the word of mouth advertising examples at the beginning of this video, but now we're just surprised. We're surprised by how readily available the information is and how contradictory the word of mouth claims are, which really makes you question their motivation in the first place. So for the claims, maybe wellbeingsecrets.com can't deny its hunger suppressing capabilities, but we sure can, especially when a meta-analysis found no conclusive clinical trial to back this up. For the next claim, this is so outrageous, it essentially deconstructs itself. No, it will not work the second you take it, because it probably won't work at all. With respect to immune function, cholesterol, and metabolism, there are no studies looking at these factors besides the colitis study, which probably doesn't apply to you. And here's one final claim that we didn't talk about before. The idea here is that there was a study showing that the calcium potassium salt version of hydroxycitric acid is absorbed better. This does not by any means suggest that eating a banana with your Garcinia cambogia will make it absorb better, unless the organic synthesis occurs magically in your stomach forming the hydroxycitric acid salt. So this too is a load of bull. So unfortunately, the word of mouth advertising is largely unfounded, thus earning Garcinia cambogia our first 0 out of 5 brains. However, there is an important takeaway here. The mechanism behind Garcinia cambogia is very promising, and inhibiting the enzyme ATP citrate lyase has potential to augment weight as appreciated in our rat study. But as you remember, the dose required to achieve weight loss was way too high to make it useful for people to take. We believe that a drug created to target the same enzyme, perhaps more effectively than Garcinia cambogia, could be promising and offer some of the benefits of Garcinia cambogia seen in rats, but not humans. Just some food for thought. Until next time, thanks for deconstructing with us. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest deconstructions. Drop a comment in the comment box below if there's a specific product you want us to deconstruct. Thanks for watching.